This year marks the 30th anniversary of the auto show's international status, but of course it also marks the last time they're going to hold the show in the dead of winter. That's right, and today Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan looked upon both of those milestones as important while doing the annual mayor's visit. Now our business editor Rob Maloney is live at Kobo for what we might call the beginning of the end of an era, Rob. You no doubt about it, Devin. I mean, let's face it, the, uh, the show floor is different because so many car makers are not here. It's changing the footprint and the car makers that are there. But the mayor said he came with a sense of nostalgia and anticipation as he looked at his last chance to see the auto show in January. The mayor's visit is a holdover from another era. When the contractors would build out the show, they were notoriously tough to move along at all quickly. And as the minutes ticked down to the deadline, organizers wanted to give them a reason to move things along, so they started bringing the mayor in. In the time-honored tradition now, the mayor received an update on the Ford stand where they'll feature the new Explorer. We'll have Ranger right. in through this area um, will be our press event for 750 people and then it'll transition over to what we're calling our City of Tomorrow. They've expanded both the Toyota and the Lexus stands and Kurt McAllister told the mayor he can expect an updated Supra. It's been over more than 20 years since Supra went away. It kind of lives through you know the Fast and Furious movies, yeah. but now it's coming back. So we expect big things out of this. We finally get our pony car back. The mayor was in and out in about 15 minutes, but at the end came away impressed. They are way ahead of where they've been in uh, previous years walkthroughs. So uh, there were a couple of those years I was wondering if they were going to make it, but this time it seems like they've uh, got it all under control. And he looks forward to June 2020. By and large, people come in in the cold, go to the show and go home. I think when you look at uh, June of 2020, you're going to see just thousands and thousands of people on the streets of Detroit. And the mayor said, you know, it's going to be fun to tell the kids and the grandkids. I remember when they used to hold the auto show back in the wintertime. We walked to school uphill both ways. But anyway, um, he also said that he can't wait to get people down here in the summertime and jam these streets to make it a big economic opportunity. Back to you. That's what Kimberly uh, was just saying, kind of eager to see what it looks yeah, like then. Yeah. Uh, but Rod, I'm curious, as you walked the floor this year, we all know we're all expecting it to be a little different. What did you notice? Well, it, it struck me, uh, Devin, I saw some names that I hadn't seen before, car makers that you wouldn't expect to be here, ones that uh, I'd never even heard of. You're going to see a lot more suppliers on the show floor this year as well. Mm -hmm. But it is shaping up nicely. Toyota has pretty much the whole back of the building along with Lexus. And so it'll be uh, interesting to see how this thing all shakes out. I mean, heck, we'll be there Sunday night. Yeah, yeah. coming up really quickly really here, quickly isn't it? Really quickly, too. And I'm excited to see that Toyota Supra yeah. that we're talking about, Both too. Of us. Okay, thank you, Rod. And Local 4 will be showcasing the auto show on Air and online through the official Auto Show app, which you can download for free by searching WDIV Auto Show in your app store.